Hello students, let us continue the data handling chapter from NCRT exemplar. We had solved question 1 to 35, which was objective type question. Now we have got question 36 to 58, which are fill in the blank type. Let's begin with 36th question, data available in an unorganized form is called as raw data. 37th, in the class interval 20 to 30, the lower limit is 20. 38th, in the class interval 26 to 33, 33 is known as upper limit. The range of the data 6, 8, 16, 22, 8, 27, and 25 is. We know that it is highest minus the lowest. Here the highest is 25 and the lowest is 6. So the difference is 19. Question 40. A pie chart is used to compare a part to a whole. Question 41. In the experiment of tossing a coin one time, the outcome is either head or tail. Question 42. When a dice is rolled, six possible outcomes are the numbers from 1 to 6. Question 43. Each outcome or collection of outcomes in an experiment makes an event. This statement you need to remember. An event is each outcome or collection of outcomes in an experiment. Question 44. An experiment whose outcomes cannot be predicted exactly in advance is called as a random experiment. Question 45. The difference between the upper and the lower limit of the class interval is called a range of the class interval. Sorry, here is a mistake. This is not called as a range. This is called as size. or width of the class interval. The sixth class of the group data having the intervals 10 to 15, 15 to 20 years, 35 to 40. Here we have a histogram. Question 47 to 50 are based on this histogram. This is a histogram of number of people with the number of books. Question 47 is the total number of people surveyed is. We need to add up each entries here. Here we have 8, here we have 14, here we have 5, next is 6, next is 2. When we add all these, we get 35. So 35 people are surveyed. Question 48 the number of people owning books more than 60 years. Here we have 60. So more than 60 means we have to consider these two classes. So 6 added to 2 is 8. 49th, the number of people owning books less than 40 is. Here uh, less than 40 means we have to consider these two classes. 0 to 20 and 20 to 40. So 14 added to 8 is 22. Question number 50. The number of people having books more than 20 and less than 40 years, we have to consider only this because more than 20, less than 40. So 14 people. Question 51. The number of times a particular observation occurs in a group, in a given data is called its frequency. 
mission 52, when the number of observations is large, the observations are usually grouped in groups of equal width called class interval. Question 53, the total number of outcomes when a kind is tasked is two because there will be head or tail. Question 54, the class size of the interval 80 to 85 is five because highest or upper limit is 85, low limit is 80, the difference is five. In a histogram, dash are drawn with width equal to the class interval without leaving any gap in between them. These are the bars which are drawn with equal to class interval and there is no gap between them. Question 56. In a histogram, class interval and frequencies are taken along x-axis and y-axis. If there is only one outcome, it's called as equally likely outcome. Say another example for equally likely is probability of getting head and probability of getting tail. In both the cases, we have got 1 by 2 as a probability. So this type of probability is known as equally likely event. This is a point to remember. Question 58. In the class interval 10 to 20, 20 to 30, respectively, 20 lies in the class. It has to be 20 to 30. And this type of classes are considered as exclusive type. Again, in class 9, we are going to uh, learn in detail about exclusive and one more is called as inclusive. These are the questions which are related to fill in the blank. Now we have question which are saying true or false. Meanwhile, I'll be telling why it is false also. Question 59. In a pie chart, a whole circle is divided into sectors. This statement is true. Question 60. The central angle of a sector in a pie chart cannot be more than 180 degree. This is false because the angle can be any angle which is less than 360 degree. So it can range from 0 degree to 360 degrees. It cannot exceed 360 degrees. 61. Sum of all the central angles in a pie chart is 360 degree. This statement is true. In a pie chart, two central angles can be 180 degree. This also can be true. In a pie chart, two or more central angles can be equal. This also is true. We can have equal sectors. Statement 64. Getting a prime number and throwing a die is an event. Using the following frequency table, answer the questions 65 to 68. So first, we have to look at 64th statement. Getting a prime number on throwing a die is an event. This is true. On throwing die, there will be three prime numbers, uh, two, three, and five. These are the 
outcomes on prime numbers. Question 65, nine students got full marks. This statement is true. Here, look at the frequency. There are nine students who have got full marks. Question 66, the frequency of less than eight marks is 29. When we look at less than eight, we have to consider till seven. So five plus 10 students plus eight students together it is 23. Therefore, the statement is a false statement. The frequency more than eight marks is 21. Look at more than eight marks it is 12 plus nine. 12 students plus 9 students is 21. So the given statement is a true statement. Statement number 68, 10 marks, the highest frequency. Look at the highest frequency, it is 12. So this particular statement is a false statement because it is 12. 12 students have got 9 marks. So 9 marks has got highest number of frequency. Question 69, if the fifth class interval is 60 to 65, fourth class interval is 55 to 60, then the first class interval is 45 to 50. This particular statement is a false statement because fifth class interval is 60 to 65, fourth class interval is 55 to 60, third will be 50 to 55, previous will be 45 to 50, previous prior to that will be 40 to 45. So this is fifth, fourth, third, second, first. So it has to be 40 to 45, not 45 to 50. 70th, from the histogram given on the right, we can say that 1,500 males above the age 20 are literate. This particular statement is a false statement because the number of literate males above the age group 20 are this is 600 this is 800, this is 500. So 600 plus 800 plus 500, the sum is 1900. It is not 1500. Statement number 71, the class size of the class interval 60 to 68 is 8. This is true because Upper limit minus the lower limit will be the class size, 68 minus 60, which is 8. 72, if a pair of coins is tossed, then the number of outcomes are 2. This particular statement is a false statement because we have learned that there could be head-tail combination or tail-head combination or both heads or both tails. So totally four number of outcomes are possible. 73. On throwing a dice once, the probability of occurrence of even numbers is 1 by 2. First list out 
the even numbers these are the three even numbers the total number of outcomes are 6 so the probability is 3 out of 6 which is 1 by 2 so the given statement is a true statement on throwing a dice once the probability of occurrence of a composite number is 1 by 2 what are the composite numbers numbers which are having more than one factor are composite here 4 and 6 are composite numbers so the probability of this event is 2 out of 6 which is 1 by 3 here they have given 1 by 2 so the statement is a false statement statement number 75 from the given pie chart we can infer that the production of manganese is least in state B. Here they, they have given the production of manganese in four different states. Observe the size of the sector. From this pie chart, unless a central angle is known, we cannot actually find State B has got less. So the given statement is considered as false because central angles are not given. So we cannot infer. Number 76. One or more outcomes of an experiment is making an event. This statement is a true because there will be more than one outcomes. Statement number 77, the probability of getting 6 in a throw of dice is 1 by 6. Similarly, the probability of Getting a number 5 is 1 by 5. This statement is incorrect because probability of getting 5 is only 1 out of 6 outcomes. So 1 by 6 will be the probability. So the statement is a false statement. This statement is correct. The second statement is false statement. Seventy-eight. the probability of getting prime number is the same as that of a composite number when we throw a dice. For prime numbers we have two, three, five. So probability of this event is 3 by 6 which is 1 by 2 composite numbers there are only two composite numbers 4 and 6 so probability of this event is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3 so it will not be same so the statement is false statement statement 80 to verify Pythagoras theorem is a random experiment this is not a random experiment because the Pythagoras theorem is a prone result. It's already proved. The result is already known that it's true. So this is not a random experiment. Statement number 81, the following pictorial representation of data is a histogram. Here it is a true statement because observe these are the bars which are having no gap between them. Now we have few questions to be solved. Given below is a frequency distribution table. I read it and answer the following question that follows. Observe class interval and frequencies are given now we need to answer 
these questions e to f first one is what is the lower limit of the second class interval the second class interval is 20 to 30 in this the lower limit is 20 what is the upper limit of the last class interval the last class interval is 50 to 60 in this the upper limit is 60 what is the frequency of third class here is a third class so the frequency is 4 which interval has the frequency 10 it is 20 to 30 which interval has the lowest frequency here the lowest frequency is there in uh, 30 to 40 because the frequency is just 4 what is the class size Class size is obtained by subtracting lower limit from the upper limit. We can take any of the class interval. If I take 20 to 30, 10 to 20, so 20 minus 10 is 10. It remains same throughout. So the class size is 10. Question 83. The top seeds of 30 different land animals have been organized top speeds of 30 animals have been organized in this particular frequency table draw a histogram for this given data if a histogram is drawn we get it like this certain important things to observe the scale is mentioned as one axis one division is 10 km per hour because they have given the speed in terms of 10 km per hour and frequency is mentioned on y-axis important thing to note is there is a kink this kink is made so that we understand that the class interval has not started from zero it started from 10 onwards with uh, this question number 83 i'm going to end the session we shall discuss few more questions in the next session thank you